toxic. I'm Danny. I'm an alcoholic. Been sober six years this September. My name's Tam. I used to take drugs. I've been clean for eight weeks. Jack. Alcoholic. Been clean for five years. I'm Alex. Trouble with the bookies. This is Maureen. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Maureen. I'm addicted to Valium. I started, my husband left me for another man. Then my boy got hooked in heroin. Then my wee lassie fell pregnant at the age of 11. To my boy, with twins. Go on, Maureen, you're doing great. Then my wee dog, Bobby, got run over last week with the tally van. Taliban? Ice cream van. Go on, Maureen. Then my washing machine packed in. You're doing great, Maureen. So I went to the doctors. And did he help? No, really. Gave me 20 Valium. I thought you said you could kill someone with bare hands and feet. What happened? I didn't take to get my shoes and socks off. <laughs> All right. Does it bother you? The drink? No, I don't crave it anymore. It's a bit early, all the same, no? I need it. I'm just back for the bank. I'm not going to extend me any more credit. What, the gym? Right. What do we do? It's my problem, Jack. You're not getting involved. Listen, I'd bone the streets if it was there for you. I've got 16 grand here. It's yours, wee man. I appreciate it. I really do, mate. It's a drop in the ocean as far as this place is concerned. I need at least a hunter or they're going to foreclose on me. A hunter grand? What the fuck you been doing, Rab? Alright, Jack. And there you go, boys. How come we can't have a 20 grand bet on? Because you're always suspicion. You put a bet like that on, the book will think the fight's rigged. But it is. Aye, in your favour. And the less folk know about it, the better. That's why you get 40 folk to put a pony each to all the bookies in the mix. Sure about this, Jack. We're all in this together. Rab, that'll be fine, me man. Listen, Big Terry's got fists of iron. Nothing to worry about. Now we're all in. Boy's got a glass jaw.
Shut up. It's me. I don't know what to say. I understand if you don't want to talk. I'll go run by the gym and pick up my stuff, mate. Oscar goes to. Damn, I'll take you to the airport. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Peace, peace. Is that not what you're here for? Peace of mind? That's what Valium's for. Absolution comes through humility. Prostrating yourself before God. I'm here to see you. A flesh and blood person, not getting broiled in your racket. That's like going to a house of ill repute to admire a deck already. God. Who is he, anyway? It's just Santa Claus with better PR. Okay. I'll change the subject, shall I? How's your drug trade? Are you still selling smack to the wains? You're one to talk. How's that? You lot. What about us? You're the biggest pushers in humanity. You sell folk the most potent drug known to man. And what's that? Hope. If we're so repugnant, why do you keep coming here? I'm beginning to ask myself the same question. It's going to change. What is? My life. What about it? I'm getting out. I'm getting clean. Laundering isn't cleaning. You can't just expunge your past by ignoring it. What do you want out of me, huh? An apology? It's not me you need to apologise to. If you can't apologise, at least forgive yourself. It's easier said than done, Pat. One more thing. The roof. What about it? Thanks. You're welcome. Don't be a stranger, Roddy. I believe you can change. Even if you don't. Me. If I don't get my money by Friday, I'm going to open you up, grab your intestines and squeeze a living shit out of you. Got it? Sorry, sweetheart. Was your daddy in? Did you tell him that Roddy called? Thanks, then. Bye-bye.
Come on, Ned! You're right, boss. Where the fuck were you? We got away. Really? No shit. Who's he? This guy saved my life. Don't want any trouble. Why do you pay? I don't want anything. How you handled them? Where'd you learn that shit? In the army. Right, I'm getting your room for the night and I'm not taking off for an answer. Honestly, it's alright. After what you done, I insist. Come on. I'm a Roddy. And these two arseholes are Craig and Darren. And you're... Jack. My sleeping bag. Don't worry. I'll get you another one. You got a surname, Jack? Knox. Knox? Hey, I am Knox right enough. Roddy sent me. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, something's not right. What? Hamden! <laughs> We're all friends here. What's your fucking game? The boys were suspicious. Hey, what? You, you prick. There's a cognitive dissonance. What? How someone as resourceful as you ends up living rough. Bad luck, bad choices. Bullshit! It was you that insisted and put me up for the night. I didn't want to come. <coughs> I think Barbara would disagree. Look, we're all just a bit jittery. Just seemed a bit of a coincidence that you were in that particular lane when I got jumped. You regret what I did? <coughs> you need a hand. Prick. I was in the alleyway because of vents, and like your boys, they blow out a lot of fucking hot air. Satisfied? Go and have a look if you don't believe me. How did you know what we were going to date you? I worked security. You were a bouncer? A bouncer. Close protection. What's the difference? Several IQ points. How'd you like you work for me? As what? As a fucking shepherd. What do you think? Look, nothing else is going to happen to you the night, Jack. Come round to mine tomorrow, and we'll have a chat.
Hey, go eat your dumbbell. <laughs> Did you really offer him a job? Run a check on him. His story's that unbelievable, it might just be true. Who are here? And I know what you hear instead, the light's more flat with <laughs> Funny cunt, eh? So you're the new bouncer then? No, I'm a pole dancer. You here? Did you sleep? Like a baby. Cried all night and shot myself. What? Drink? Nah, not for me. That's right. You give up. You and I get something in common. Aye. You're reading an alcoholic as well. I mean, we were both in the army. Tours of the Gulf, Afghanistan, accommodations up the arse. Black Diamond Security, and it all went tits up. And Undiagnosed PTSD. I fucked up. Pay. I am thinking about writing a boil. You're all right, though. No. It depends who you ask. Who can I ask? No one. Well, I just need to take your word for it then. You think I'm a security detail? Non-existent. You're an open goal. Darren's in charge of the bouncers. <laughs> that explains a lot. Like what? Leaving him in charge is like giving a monkey a chainsaw. Something you need to understand. Loyalty. Very important to me. Craig and Darren started at the bottom. And I liked it that much, they decided to stay there. Yeah. Alright, smart arse. And throw me with your acumen. You like to keep fat? No, I go to the gym every morning. Keeps me sharp. Love it. So your movements are as regular as my bills? Why don't you just put an advert in the paper? Deliver it the way you'll be. Cuts out the middle, man. What do you suggest? Arrange something. Last minute, cancel it. See who gets pissed off? That's your man. Are you implying last night was an inside job? Your boys were just late enough for the job to be done. That no cut to you. Craig and Darren? Nah, never. Who suggested they give me a doon last night then? Okay, you're hired. <laughs> Who said I wanted the job? I did. If I take the job, I want full control. If I tell you to do something. You have to do your deal. I'll have a reason. Understood. Money pie?